Hey everyone, and welcome back to Metroid Fusion, where today we'll be dealing with our loud upstairs neighbors. Someone is getting too stumpy here, so yeah. It's time to deal with them. An unknown event occurred. Investigate. I mean, like, computer, we already uh, figured out they are our neighbors, okay? Like, seriously, this actually reminds me of uh, something that is happening currently in real life. Because uh, that's actually one of the reasons why I'm currently in my moving phase. Whoa! Yeah, just because of that. Simply because upstairs there are some really loud and noisy neighbors. Okay, so here go to the right and quickly go to the left. And grab these monkey bars. So this is our stumper, okay? So this boss battle can either be one of the uh, worst boss battles in the entire game or one of the easiest ones, if you know what to do here. So as you can see what he does, he stumps around, jumps around, and then he throws this small little grenade at you that kinda expels these flames, and notice how these flames, they kinda form these pillars which uh, are being uh, kinda very long and then very small. So here's the thing that you do. Whenever he throws this grenade, uh, try to stay right uh, above it, so that you're not being damaged by these flames. But to actually damage the boss, you have to uh, damage his uh, center there. And he has a pretty small hitbox, so yeah. And also when he tries to throw this grenade at you, you cannot actually damage him in the center, so you have to be actually kind of quick here. So, now that we got our uh, super missiles, I advise you to actually use those to deal with this guy. So, yeah. Okay. Oh shit. Uh, yeah, try not to get damaged by that uh, grenade that flies out of uh, his uh, center there. So. Okay. Ooh, let's be careful here. Yeah, he's uh, really, really quick here. So. So you have to kinda out um, quick him, if it makes sense. You have to basically be uh, much more faster than him to deal uh, damage to the boss. So. Yeah, I try to be kinda a bit careful here, that's why I'm kinda just uh, shooting one missile at a time at him. But uh, usually you can actually get uh, either two or even three missiles in, in his uh, hitbox there. So. Notice how his center is kind of like exposed a bit, and there is a small little brain there, so I wonder what is up with that. <laughs> so, yeah, that's quite interesting. I like this boss battle, but uh, in my first playthrough, yeah, this boss battle was uh, pretty tough for me. Also here, uh, don't touch this boss, because you will take damage when he just escapes. So, yeah. And that's how you deal with this uh, stumper robot guy. So, But yeah, like I said before, it's either one of your uh, toughest boss battles in the game, or it's one of the easiest ones for you. It depends uh, if you know what to do, or if you do not know what to do. So. <laughs> Repelled security robot, proceed to navigation room. Alright. But yeah, speaking about neighbors, like seriously, I can even hear how my neighbors fart. I mean, like, I I I is that normal? Like seriously. Okay, so here are some screw attack blocks, we cannot break those. And I think, yeah, this room will be filled with enemies, but we'll have some uh, speed booster and uh, shine sparking action in this room a bit. Also, why am I using my uh, charged beam? Because now we got missiles. Our super missiles are actually much more powerful now. So, so first, let's clear this room out of the enemies. So, one thing about our speed booster that I want to mention to you. Notice how there are these slopes? So, usually when you use uh, your speed booster, what happens is that Samus uh, begins glowing, right? And um, when you press down when she's glowing, you can store this glow inside of you. However, though, as you can see, it kind of wears off after a while. 
However, though, you can keep on storing this charge if there is a slope. So what you do, you run forward, store the charge when Samus keeps going, find a slope, press the jump button and forward to run against the slope, then press again downwards to store the charge, and basically you can just keep on uh, going like that. And sometimes some interesting things you can do with that, you can basically uh, keep uh, this uh, glow with you across some other rooms and whatnot. Basically you can uh, yeah, do some interesting stuff with that. So, so remember that. <laughs> also here, let me see... Maybe I'll have to re-enter this room. Well, let's see. I think there, to the right, there were actually... let's see. Let me try this one again. There was something breakable, if I remember correctly. Maybe I am wrong, but uh, let's see. Whoa! Okay, dude, please. PLEASE! <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's check this wall out here. Oh, well, it is something breakable, but I cannot do that currently. We need a screw attack for that. So here is a missile tank. But uh, here, as you can see, we need to do some uh, shine sparking action, actually. So once again, let's clear this room out of the enemies. You'll have to use uh, your shine spark here uh, diagonally, actually. I hate these flying dudes, they are like so hard to catch with uh, my weapons, it's, it's crazy. Okay, let's see. Speed booster! Okay, let's store the charge and let's use our... Uh, ...shine spark in this diagonalish way to reach uh, this missile tank. Yeah. So here we go. Here we are. Let's see, but yeah, speaking about the very first Metroid, not uh, Metroid uh, Zero Mission, which was the remake of it, but the very first Metroid. Uh, if you want to play it now, I advise you to uh, look up the map online, simply because that game doesn't have a map. So yeah, playing that game without a map is a uh, pain in the ass. So, I kind of like it in a sense, simply because you had a much more cryptic feeling that way, you know? But still, if you're doing that nowadays, uh, it's almost impossible to complete. I mean, it is possible, but it will take you a lot of time to do that. So definitely look a map online to complete that game. <laughs> so. so here, you do not have to actually use Speed Booster, but I'll use it anyway. So first, let's open this door here. We'll be uh, transferring our Speed Booster up to the next room, actually. Okay, let's store our charge. Let's use a slope here. So here, jump and press forward. And that way you can break all these speed booster blocks here. So, to reach this room here. You do not actually have to do that. So here is a power bomb block. We cannot break that for now. You do not actually have to do that, but uh, if you do that, uh, actually reaching this particular item here is much more easier. Yeah. Grabbing this energy tank is uh, much more easier. So if you actually do not do what I did, um, there is um, one other way how to get uh, this energy tank here. So normally how you reach this place, you uh, drop down here into this hole, and you basically go here. So, whoa, oh, that that was interesting. Okay, basically block reformed, and I got just pushed out of the block. <laughs> Well, that's a first. Like, seriously, that never happened before. Okay, so normally how you reach this energy tank, you actually reveal a hidden dong here. And then you can uh, break uh, these blocks here to reach uh, this energy tank here. So, so yeah. Yeah, speaking about very first Metroid, uh, once again, um, considering I played three games now. The very first Metroid, the remake of it, Zero Mission, and uh, Metroid Fusion. I don't know where I would place the uh, very first Metroid, like honestly, because Zero Mission is uh, in my very first spot. It's uh, number one for me. 
I guess very first Metroid would be in the very last spot, actually. For a while, I thought maybe I'll place it in the same spot uh, as Metroid Fusion, but you know, that fucking Mother Brain fight was so awful and tedious, and the refilling these energy tanks was so uh, annoying that uh, I think I'll, yeah, just rate it uh, at the bottom place. So. Okay, so here are some speed booster blocks, as you can see. So, remember how I uh, told you that there are some blocks in this game that are kind of meant for you just for shortcut purposes? So, this is one of these occasions. So, here's what you'll do. Uh, let's recharge. Now let's go to the save room. However, though, we won't be going to navigation room. What we'll do now... Um, we'll just uh, run across all these rooms while shooting all these doors. So that we can uh, speed boost through all of these rooms. And... Okay, so... If you gain enough speed, you can actually... You see there's a crumbling bug there at the bottom. You can actually break uh, these two... Uh, well, actually three, I think. <laughs> yeah. Uh, these uh, three speed booster blocks here, and then you will just drop down at the very bottom of this whole room. So basically that's a shortcut. It's not too important, but still, it is there. And you know, uh, I won't be showing you the locations of all these shortcuts. I think I don't even know where all of them are located. So, yeah. But still, you know, they are there. So have fun with them, if you want. Um, I think there's... well, actually, two more things that I can do before ending this whole sector. Remember that blue blob? I think I can now break it, actually. I can actually destroy it now. The point of that, though, um... There is no point. <laughs> yeah, now that we have super missiles, we can break this blue blob here. Like, seriously, there's no reason, because uh, this door is kinda destroyed. So... So, I, I, I wonder why. Well, you, you can kinda go back here if you want, but do we want to go back? I don't think so. So, so yeah. You can go back to that, um... Missile tank, if you remember. Which is the only item in the game which is not skippable. So, and uh, by the way, uh, in speedrunner community, that uh, missile tank is called Bob. Why? I don't know. It's just called Bob and that's it. So, so yeah. <laughs> so let's see, there is one shine sparking trick that I want to do here. Uh, so you see, there is uh, one unexplored room to the left of us here. So although I think it was like a super heated area or something like that. However, though, because we have a speed booster, we do not have to kind of go through that room. We can just uh, fly through that room. We can basically fly across all of it. But first, yeah, make sure to open this room here, actually, first. So what we'll be doing now, we'll be gaining speed at the bottom. I think uh, I won't be able to gain enough speed, actually just from this room alone. I think I will have to enter that other room to the right to gain enough speed. Well, let's see. Yeah, I won't have enough speed here. So basically my idea is uh, to run from that other room to this room with my speed booster, then jump here, here, then jump and just uh, use my shine spark across uh, the next room from, from here. So, yeah, well, yeah, let's see what we can do. I think I'll have enough speed here. Also remember that when you are in the speed booster mode, you can destroy all the enemies. And also some blocks as well, so... So let's see... Okay, let's store... No, 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 no! Samus, please! What the hell are you doing? Yeah. Um... Something like that can happen. And something like that will happen to you uh, very frequently. 
<laughs> yeah, using a uh, speed booster and shine spark is uh, actually uh, a bit tedious sometimes. Ah, shit. <laughs> Come on. And once again, the game is not telling you how to do that, so you have to kind of figure that out on your own. Pretty much so. Ah, shit. Ah. Okay, th there were some blocks uh, in the way, so I had to shoot them first. And although, you know, some blocks are breakable with your speed booster, but not in this case, though. Ooh, too far. Way too far. Okay, I'll try one more time, and if I do not get it uh, this time around, then uh, I think it's editing time. Then I'll just meet you when I'll get it, you know. Shit! Uh, I forgot to lock the door! Uh, okay, one more time. W w one more time, okay? I, for I forgot to unlock the door. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't forget to unlock the door sometimes. Uh, yeah, that, that's... Okay, let's see. Here we go! Finally. Yeah, you see, here, although you are taking uh, some damage there, because um, there is a ultra heated area there. By using your shine spark move, you can actually fly across all that room. So, and reach this place here. However, though, okay, there is a missile tank here, but there is something more here as well. Not only that. So, let's see. Yeah, there's a. Well, something else. A lot of uh, breakable blocks here. And I think these two blocks, they are actually speed booster blocks here. Yeah. So you know what that means. So let's see. Let's use our... Shine Spark! Not in that direction, Samus, please. Let's use it upwards. Here we go. Okay, so there's an energy tank there. But to grab it, you actually have to destroy all these blocks here, and uh, there's something else breakable here as well. And revealable as well. So, uh, you see, here we cannot reach the top. However, though, our dunk action continues. So, yeah. <laughs> And that's how you reach uh, this uh, energy tank, so... And now we'll be going back, uh, actually, with our Shine Spark as well, so... So, let's see... Okay, don't forget to shoot the door, and... Uh, let's go! Yeah! Oh, come on! I wanted to destroy some enemies! It would be much more cooler looking. Oh, well. So yeah, Shine Sparking is fun, but uh, it's a bit tedious. Even me, who played this game many times, uh, I'm still failing Shine Sparking sometimes. Well, actually, a lot of times, so... <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, by the way, speaking about Metroid Prime, I think the only thing that we got from Metroid Prime is just a... Uh, um, title screen, and that's it? <laughs> Like, seriously, many years have passed and that's all we have. No gameplay footage, nothing, just a fancy title screen of Prime 4, and that's it. That's kinda a bit silly. By the way, in Zero Mission you can actually um, use your Shine Spark in your uh, ball form, which looks kinda cool and awesome. Uh, in this game, however, you cannot actually do that, unfortunately. So. I see that you encountered a rogue security robot. Well, yeah. It was my neighbor from upstairs. You may destroy it if you meet it again. Oh, I will. I will, okay? Your safety is vital. But as to your brief, level 2 security locks are released. So sectors 5 and 6 are open. Nice. That means those sectors have likely been infiltrated by X. 
they are much harder to stop than we initially suspected. Sector 5 ARC is sub-zero. You're still susceptible to cold from the vaccine side effects. So you'll take damage if you even set foot inside there. Always Sector 5 for now, but in the meantime HQ is working on uh, data to adjust your suit for extreme temperatures. Okay. Once we have the transmission, you can download it, but... The X have destroyed all the data rooms you have used so far. I no longer doubt their capacity for critical thought. You'll have to use the data room in the night habitat. Sector 6, knock. Okay. Go to Sector 6 and access a navigation room there. I wonder if a Noctis from Final Fantasy XV will be there. Is your right shifter clear? Yes. Shred Lighty Samos, you are the only one who can do this. And the X might be much more dangerous than we know. Okay, so we'll be visiting that place in the next episode, but for today, yeah, I think uh, actually uh, this will be it. So yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Um, this boss battle was pretty fun. So yeah, like I mentioned before, you can have either very easy time with it or very hard time with it. So, <laughs> but yeah, guys, um, let's save our game. And uh, yeah, I'll be seeing you all next time. Cheers. Also, one funny thing about this boss is that it's called Box. Just Box. So yeah, that's uh, super weird. <laughs> so.